I'd like to now request uh, the presence of our eminent panelists on stage. Uh, Rohan Verma is currently the Chief Executive Officer and Executive Director at Map My India. He's a passionate entrepreneur and a technology evangelist on a mission to improve our lives through maps and location technologies. He's a precocious talent. As a 19-year-old, at that time at Stanford, he created India's first interoperable, uh, interactive internet mapping portal that was Map My India. As a 22-year-old, he joined as full-time director on the Map My India board. And since then, the company has never looked back, seen high growth and uh, great value. In 21, that is 2021, Map My India was declared a unicorn when the IPO listed at 65% on the opening day premium. Uh, I must with great pleasure and some distress uh, tell you, Rohan, that I can't afford your stock anymore. And uh, this was in, uh, in spite of the COVID-impacted uncertainties of the market. He was formerly on the board of the Chola Mandalam Finance, he's a member of the CIA National Committee on Space, a founder member of the Indian Space Association and on the Governing Council of the IAMAI, co-chair of two FIKI committees, including the National Executive Committee. Uh, Rohan, you bring a great deal of value at a very young age. I think you're an example to a lot of our startups here. You pioneered in offering integrated earth observation and sat nav solutions through mapping uh, as a commercial solution in India. Uh, but you would agree that the earth observation as well as sat nav solutions are still in their infancy when you compare it with a sector like uh, sat uh, SATCOM. So what is the scope for expansion? in your view, for Earth observation, sat-nav and integrated solutions, both in India as well as globally. How do we leverage this particular scope, whatever it may be? What are the challenges that you face as industry, even in the force reforms area? And what measures would you like to see to increase uh, you know, institutional as well as retail consumption and going up? Uh, good evening. Thank you so much, uh, uh, Coach, sir, for giving me the opportunity. Mm. Uh, Pavan sir and Sri Maniji, uh, I know you talked about IIT, so um, I'm IITian is my mother, actually. And <laughs> so that's my claim to fame. And uh, she co-founded Map My India with my father, who's uh, not an IITian, but he was at General Motors in the US, so just, just trying to bring some connection. Um, this decadal vision is is just incredible. I mean, space is uh, for us at least, you know, it's core to what I've done for the last uh, 20 years since I was 19. It's the only job I've ever had, and it's the only love when it comes to business that I've ever had. Um, and but but before I kind of get into implementation and kind of what the future can hold from a entrepreneurship, tech, space, uh, country point of view, it's important to acknowledge the role that ISRO played. A uh, critical role that ISRO played um, under the leadership of Honorable Prime Minister to unlock this sector. Uh, and this is, uh, I can tell you, my parents started the company in 95 to digitally map India when no digital maps existed for the country. And the amount of pain and trauma and harassment that they faced, and I also did, uh, because of archaic government regulations around this, it came to a head in 2019 and 2020. And uh, ISRO organized a meeting with uh, Honorable Prime Minister. Jayan sir was there, um, uh, NSA was there, uh, Sunil Mittal uh, sir was there, and Honorable Prime Minister mentioned to my father then that, look, we are going to fix this issue. And within two months, the geospatial data guidelines, liberalizing this sector, opening up it, it for the domestic companies, which had been suffering a non-level playing field before that happened. And really the ride from there has taken off. Um, we talk about Earth Observation, SatNav, and SatCom. I'll say it slightly differently because all three are critical. Mute, mute. X, Y, Z, X, Y, Z, T, star. The first dimension, second dimension, third dimension, fourth dimension, and star meaning all the information and actions of the world getting mapped to not just 3D, but in time. I think really if we think of, about this, this is the digital twin or a 4D map of the world. 
macro at a universe level, micro at a cellular level, one is to one at a world level. Mind map is at the not even physical but meta level. But really this encapsulates what everything in this world is and that's how we think about it at Map My India. And there are infinite benefits that can come from this. Uh, Manisha talked about it, what the common man can, can benefit. Pawan sir, when he came on as InSpace chairman, his whole purpose was the way he energized automotive sector. The, he wanted to energize the benefits of this horizontal technology called space to everybody. I want to tell you that it's happening in automotive, it's happening in mobility, it's happening in consumer tech, it's happening in enterprise, in government. I mean, uh, literally you can go on mapples.com today and type Kurukshetra or Bits Pilani. And you'll see a digital twin built through drones, a 4D metaverse of that place. This is not a 2D map. This is not 3D. It is not just high definition. It is four dimensional. It is not something that is behind the US. It is in front of the US. And the fact that we are able to leverage maps, IoT, navigation systems, this all leverages the power of Earth observation satellites, uh, SatNav satellites, and SATCOM satellites. I can tell you innumerable benefits and innumerable applications, but obviously we are short on time. I can just tell you this, the Indian youth, the Indian startup, the Indian technology industry, Indian entrepreneurs, Indian engineers have incredible talent and incredible motivation. And they are motivated because under this government, under this prime minister, under this ISRO, under this in space, in the ecosystem, there is an energy that we want to take India to the world. And so, yes, we've been proudly since uh, almost 30 years now mapping my India. But I also tell you, we are in venturing international and we are helping India help other countries map my nation. And so this is the way that India can be a template for the world and India can serve the world. What we say, Vasudev Kutumbukam. Uh, this technology is very powerful. I'll only give one warning as part of this implementation. We have been over-reliant on foreign companies. They are still infiltrated in the country. It shows up in wrong borders of, of India on maps. It shows up on unsafe areas being shown on maps. I hope that people realize that we can be domestically reliant. We should not allow foreign-owned, foreign-controlled companies to so deeply infiltrate the dom when domestic re resilience is there. We need the domestic market and we want to venture internationally. We give you the commitment the Indian industry can do it. And thank you very much for the opportunity. Thank you very much, Aron, uh, for that very uh, motivating view of what the indus Indian industry can do and where the opportunities lie. So the mantra here is uh, think local, go global, right? And make an India for the world. Thank you very much, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, we extend our gratitude to our moderator and IMN and panelists.